also acknowledging that entrepreneurship is not for everyone. People in the in the YouTube space who talk about how to build a, build a YouTube channel, they talk about the benefits of being a YouTuber, but they also acknowledge that it's not everyone's journey. And I don't see that in the language learning community. I, I just don't see it. So I, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be from my English speaking community. I've been posting videos in Arabic and Spanish for like the past few weeks and I, th I just thought I would just come up, come and talk to you guys uh, about just something I've been reflecting on. I posted a video uh, last week of me speaking um, seven different languages. The seven languages that I learned throughout my journey of multilingualism since I was 14. And I was in the shower this morning and I was just really reflecting on the idea of language learning and just how much work really goes into it. And an idea came to me that, and this idea may be a bit controversial because like my, the years I've spent watching polyglot content or, or just watching language learning related content on YouTube, I've never ever heard anyone just address the idea that language learning is just not for everyone. There's many videos out there about why you should learn a new language, how to learn a new language. And I do think these are all valid uh, uh, questions to address to the community of people who are actually uh, motivated to learn different languages. But I also realize like no one ever talks about the idea that language learning is just not for everyone. Just like with anything, I think people really kind of kind of confuse the idea that well, since anyone can do it, that everyone should do it. I honestly do believe that anyone can learn a new language. Anyone has that capacity if you just train yourself to do it and so forth. But, but I look at it, you know, just, just like anything else in the world, like, everything is just not your journey. Anyone can open a business, but does that mean entrepreneurship is for everyone? Anyone can record videos, but does that mean starting a YouTube channel is for everyone? The same goes for language learning. I think anyone has the capacity to if you put in uh, enough effort and and um, time to do so, you can learn any language that you want to. But it's also really important to address the fact that that's just not everyone's journey. Throughout my years of, of learning different languages, I've met many people who have told me things like, it would be nice to one day learn Spanish or it would be nice to be able to speak Russian or just things like that. And I mentioned that because for me, each language that I learn, there's a story behind it. You know, I learned Spanish in order to talk to my crush in science class who did not speak English. I learned Arabic because I saw future monetary uh, benefits with that. I learned Telugu because I was studying abroad in India for a semester in a Telugu speaking state and I do not tolerate linguistic isolation. So each language that I learned, there was a, a driving motive that gave me an incentive to actually pursue the route of learning that language. And not everyone has that. I think many people like the idea of speaking a second or third language, um, but just being infatuated with the idea of being a polyglot is not going to be a sufficient incentive to encourage you to actually learn a different language. It's not going to be enough because if if you're only if you're only real, it, I I want to say ambition because that's not really a goal to me. But if your only ambition um, to learn a new language is to be bilingual or to call yourself bilingual, that's not going to keep you fulfilled during this journey because learning a new language it is a long, difficult, time-consuming process. It takes a lot of time and effort and motivation and growing some really, really tough skin to really endure what polyglots actually go through. It takes tough skin because in the language learning community, there's a lot of competition. You know, it's mainly unsp it's mainly unspoken, but there is a lot of competition, underlying competition that goes on. You know, like even like when you go abroad for a semester and, and you're in the advanced language course, even like between students, there's going to be like this like like unspoken uh, tension or competition between the people because people always want to be better than the other. People always want to. Um, there's always like that one student that always feels like he needs to be better than better than anyone else, you know. And for um, and I say that because I was also that student. I went abroad to Brazil for a semester, and I knew that I knew really good Portuguese. Like, follow me to be Portuguese. But uh, but when I was in Brazil, like there was a student in my class who spoke Portuguese way better than me. And I was like, wait, and I've never been in a position where my Portuguese was 
quote unquote challenge. Like I perceived it as a challenge because I was like, wait, like there's no way she can be better than me. And she was, and I had to just really <laughs> uh, deal with that. You know what I mean? So it's like, but not to divert too far from the, from the topic, um, there's just a lot that goes into learning a new language. And if you're not really ready for that, that's okay. Because language learning is not for everyone. Language learning is not for everyone. To pursue the route of language learning, like you really have to have a strong uh, incentive that keeps you grounded in that mission because learning a new language requires a lot of um, uh, time and effort. It requires you to uh, train your brain to understand unfamiliar linguistic patterns. It requires you to sit with yourself for hours to try to break down these different verb conjugations. It takes it takes so much time. It takes so much cognitive gymnastics in order to reach a fluent level, which could take you years to to achieve. Just having the just having the goal of wanting to be or to, to, to call yourself bilingual or multilingual is not an incentive that's going to keep you grounded in that journey. Um, and it's and it's also easy to just and it's also okay to just really realize that it is also not for everyone and no one ever talks about that you know um, we always talk about the benefits of learning a new language but when you talk about the when you uh, look at the the YouTube community of people who talk about entrepreneurship they also talk about how they reap the benefits of being a business owner while also acknowledging that entrepreneurship is not for everyone. People in the in the YouTube space who talk about how to build a, build a YouTube channel, they talk about the benefits of being a YouTuber, but they also acknowledge that it's not everyone's journey. And I and I and I don't see that in the language learning community. I, I just don't see it. So I I, I said I'll just be the first to do it. You know, language learning is not for everyone. You know what I mean? We're in an era of hyper-globalization and every, everything has some sort of international component to it, whether it be your jobs, uh, websites, everything has a, like an international component to it. And so people may feel like they need to integrate into this new era of the world by learning a second or third language, which will be beneficial. If, but that doesn't mean it's your journey. And I want to make this clear that I'm really mainly speaking to the English speaking population because if you speak English you already have access to the world. This does not apply to people who come from remote villages where their language is only spoken by 3,000 people. Yeah, learning English will be a lot more beneficial for them in order to integrate into the international system. I'm referring to people who are uh, most likely native English speakers who feel like they need to learn a second language as a way to uh, insulate themselves of criticism and being called dumb. Because that's another thing too. I've traveled a bit and there's this perception that some people have about monolingual people and that they're dumb and that they are just lazy. And I just think that is not true. I've traveled the world and I've met many intellectual and intelligent people who are monolingual. You know what I mean? I don't think the amount of languages that you speak is... Uh, can calculate your intelligence because you may be able to uh, uh, speak two languages, but that doesn't mean you can think critically. That doesn't mean you're anal analytical. That doesn't mean you're creative. You know, it, it only means that you can say this in two words. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've met people who actually try to measure people's intelligence based on the amount of languages that, that they speak, and that's just not the case. You cannot measure someone's intelligence or intellect based off of how many languages that, that they speak. I've met many, many professionals who are native speakers of Portuguese and only speak Portuguese, and they are so intelligent. So that's another thing. Like People do criticize other people, especially English speakers from the US who only speak one language, and they call us lazy and dumb, and that's just not the case. Um, you're not dumb. You're not lazy. Maybe it's just not your journey. And, the, and and that's okay. People may have more important things to do with their time and their life. Like uh, people who are actually passionate about languages and who want to actually experience the world through, through the lens of other cultures and people, we will take the time to actually do what we can to do that by language learning. Other people may not want to integrate into different cultures in that way. And that's what I've also learned too, like about, uh, by traveling. For me, I like to integrate into cultures. Uh, I like to 
learn the language as a way to linguistically integrate. You know, other people may enjoy going to uh, archae archaeological sites and museums. I'm not really interested in that. And so people have different ways of integrating into, into foreign cultures. And that's okay. And that's when I, I also like had like this sense of realization that well, wow, like languages isn't the only way that you can integrate into foreign spaces. And so um, that doesn't make you dumb if you're monolingual. It doesn't. But with all that being said, I will acknowledge that I am still a, I'm, I'm a forever ag uh, advocate for language learning. And I'm really amazed by just all the different uh, apps and resources that are out uh, now and in this in this era to help people learn languages and all of the new programs that are out to make language learning a lot more easy and affordable for people. I love all of that. Um, but I also do recognize that language learning is just not for everyone. And I think that's okay to say. Some people may pursue a language and may realize it's not really for them. Um, and it's not really our place to shame people who are only monolingual because like I said, how many languages you speak is not a reflection of your intelligence. I think I'm going to leave it there. That was just a thought that was on my mind that I really thought needed to be shared because like I said, I've never heard this being said in the language learning space and so I'll just be the first to say it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to check out my other videos, I do make videos speaking in, in different languages like Arabic, Spanish, Portuguese, and I'm trying to get back into making more um, Malayalam and Telugu content. So if that interests you, please like this video and subscribe so you can always stay notified when I post new videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.